hello guys salman naseem here today's tutorial is about procedural fractures for absolute beginners we will we will start from ultra basic and create our texture with the help of nodes without further ado let's switch to the blender okay we have this chinese dragon which i have downloaded from blindswipe.com i'll put the link in the description we have that that one right now uh, which have uh, different objects for one model we'll just like the head from there but first of all let's see the difference between normal and procedural textures in a normal textures we mostly add the image mean the pixel textures with the help of pixel graphic will display the texture on a 3d models but in a procedural textures we use nodes or a mathematical formulas to display the texture the most common example is uh, the difference between the vector graphic and the pixel graphic we have logos and font in a vector graphic and normal picture in a pixel graphic let's see how to do it we'll split our screen from here by clicking the left uh, by bringing bringing our mouse to the corner and bring it over here and we'll convert that that window into a shader editor that will open us to the node editor and we'll have the, and we'll hide the navigation menu from there we'll set up little scene by clicking shift a and add plane that will be a ground plane we'll click s and click 10 and scale it a little bit more like that and we'll click shift a again add plane we'll bring it on a top go to the top view by clicking a 7 key in s and y on a y axis we'll scale it that will be our light we'll scale it little bit up s and x something like that we'll make that into a light by clicking a new key from here that will end up having two nodes one is material output and other one is principal psdr we'll change it into the emission that will take us to the light we'll go in a render mode for to check the difference okay let's uh, fix the lighting little bit by adding one node over here we'll click shift a we'll click shift a converter and black body and connect the color with the color but that doesn't make any difference because we are currently in a ev we'll have to switch to the cycles so you can see now our dragon is visible and that does not have any material currently so it's like the dragon from here and uh, currently it's a principal bsdf to uh, have just understanding to to have the understanding of uh, procedural textures we'll add uh, we'll go shift a and we'll have textures from here excluding this image textures or an environmental textures in ias textures each and every one in a list have own textures for example we'll test the sky textures over here by connecting the color to the base color and you can see our dragon is now having a sky look we can increase the air or increase the dust dust particles or even increase the ozone from here and whenever we disconnect it from here from there that will automatically vanish it away so we'll delete it from there and delete the principal bsdf also go to environment from there and put it on a black color we'll add glossy shader from shader menu go to glossy connect the bsdf to the surface now our dragon is uh, giving us a face like that we'll add another node by going to the textures and add Vornoi. and we'll connect the color with the color but uh, that will bring us something like that which we doesn't need we'll connect this with the displacement we'll add the displace node from shift a we'll search 
displace and add the displacement you can see the difference lastly we'll add another node another texture node which is muscular texture and we'll connect the height with the vector you can see that these lines and every stuff are are actually coming because of that node we can still scale it up or scale down scale it up or even change the design a little bit lastly we'll have to make our dragon a uh, red color we'll bring it to the right from there so we'll ha hide everything to have the better view you can see that is the our dragon has now much cooler textures than before before the ending we'll go in a modifier section and add the solidify modifier and bring little bit thickness to it like that now it's much cooler we can see from that view also so that procedural text is just for a beginner hopefully you like the video hopefully you like it don't forget to subscribe big animator youtube channel see you in the next video